That's how the work for cervical cancer prevention started today in Lagos, Saturday morning, the 1st of September. Nigeria has a population of approximately 32 million women between age 15 to 64. Women between the age of 18 to 35 are likely to suffer from cervical cancer. According to World Health Organization, women die every hour of cervical cancer in Nigeria. That is 24 women per day. At this year's work for prevention of cancer, the key message is kick out cervical cancer and let more women live. The IMAX Merit Walk is a cause to raise awareness for cervical cancer prevention in Nigeria and in Africa because um, one woman, especially in Nigeria, one woman dies every hour of cervical cancer and we think it's unacceptable that women should be dying from a form of cancer that is 100% preventable. I would say that this event is very important. It's targeted at women who are like the folk, you know, they are the category of people that are affected by cervical cancer. Cervical cancer is one of the cancers that can be preventable as it has precancer stage. So with a pap smear, it can be detected with the checks. But unfortunately, we don't have as much information out there about cervical cancer as we should. We have so many women in Nigeria dying from it as a result of late detection. Um, it's also one of the um, types of cancer that has a vaccine to it. So I am just excited that we're raising awareness about prevention and we're also providing free screening for women to find out early and even for those that don't have it to get screened. It can also be harbored for 10 to 15 years without symptoms, meaning any woman at the earliest stage of cervical cancer will show no symptoms, which is dangerous. Cervical cancer is the weeping child as it were begging for attention and by extension affects all. It might be true that the disease has no direct relationship with men, but men have relationships with women. And I have a lot of women in my life. I have a daughter, I have a wife, I have a mother, and I have sisters. And I find it appalling that cervical cancer is still claiming the lives of so many women in the country, in Nigeria. As a guy, we have mothers, we have sisters, we have wives. So when we lose our women, we, we feel the pains too. So it's something that everybody should be involved generally. Today's event brings about 300 women together who would be tested and screened. What we are mostly doing is uh, screening our people here for cervical cancer and the ones that we catch in the pre cancerous states, we send them for further treatments and also we offer advice for women who have been screened and have been found negative, we offer advice to give them uh, the, the vaccine. And right behind me the screening is ongoing which is the real deal of the day. The only hope that no one will end up with a positive result. But in the event that one woman comes with a positive result, that means they would have succeeded in saving the life of one woman from an untimely death because cervical cancer is treatable. For Plus TV Africa, Amaka Bukoye.